right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. So we're going to go into a very tricky fight here, I've heard. Uh, people are really big in this one up, so I'm very excited. I got a lot of people saying that they think this is actually the hardest fight in the game. I almost want to, I'll probably do a video going over all the different boss uh, stats um, once we actually, like, like later on today, like we'll, we'll go over the red zone, Goku, Black, and Zamasu. Uh, we have the new three fights here and just look at what a lot of these bosses are doing. Let me put this up on screen. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Look at this. Okay. Okay. Let's take a look. So, so this is the boss we're fighting here. 97 million HP, 680,000 with 10 attacks. He gets 50% attack and this super. And he doubles supers with a cooldown of four. Okay. 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 So this guy is crazy. Um, but he does have a couple of weaknesses. Number one, he doesn't disable attack uh, debuffing. So we could bring in um, several characters. That is, is a good strategy. Bringing in several strong characters that attack debuff. Um, you know, a team that could come to mind actually is the cooler team. Uh, I mean, the coolers and a lot of those characters, very early on, they would get cooked. But once you start stacking up a bunch of those attack debuffs, it would be much easier. This is definitely an issue. But keep in mind, this is the LR Goku and Vegeta unit right there. So what that means is that this is a pure Saiyan character, which means you can use Tech Khalifa, right? Tech Khalifa certainly can help out. Now, looks like this boy does double super attack. So that is going to be a certainly a huge issue. Um, how do we want to operate with this? I think, l let's just start. So he's STR, huh? Let's just start with, um, <clears throat> uh, Fusion Zamasu team. I don't want to bring Cell or Int Fusion Zamasu. Golden Frieza will be outstanding here, because remember, Golden Frieza does actually have an attack debuff. It's on his 12 key. On Golden Frieza's 12 key super attack, he has attack debuffing, which could be good. I think Baby. Oh my god. What? It's Omega. What the hell? It's Omega. Oh my god. Omega fodderizes this kid. <laughs> Dude. Let's jump in. I'll go over in two seconds what Omega does. Oh, my God. Uh, well, looks like this is not going to be a one-try thing. Uh, our opening rotations... Okay. Uh, well, the game does have a sense of humor. Omega is going to destroy this dude. All right, we're, we could be in big trouble. Let's see what we're rocking here. We have no big bad bosses. They do have a lot of damage reduction, though. Okay. Um. Well, you know what's funny? I... I would she, like, die to one normal? I don't think... Because she's going to super attack first, I don't think so. But uh, chi Lai would take some significant damage for sure. All right. Uh, if we live this turn, Omega is going to begin to do some crazy things. By the way, uh, 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 another video I'm going to do where uh, we're going to... We're alive. Okay. Uh, well, <laughs> we are alive, but Zamasu is not going to take 1,800 damage uh, from this. So, all right. We got cooked. We, we could chalk this up to opening rotations more than anything. Uh, my baby girl, Chi Lai. Um, okay. How are we going to eat this? Well, again, we did super attack twice. This is no big bad bosses. Oh, this guy hits really hard. He then it's at double digits. All right, yeah, we're fine. It's totally good. Totally easy. Uh, and now this is gonna be another attack debuff. We might have won actually. We won. <laughs> okay, I think it's over. If this is double digits, it's over, man. Okay, well, sure. Uh, so Big Daddy comes in. Let's go, Omega. <laughs> Big 
one little concern here now we can revive with omega we've got omega's revive up can we even take damage though i mean certainly he's gonna super attack somewhere damn actually i, I mean I, I was confident that we were going to win because we we're gonna revive here but i don't know if we could even take damage i guess let's because okay so Remember that Omega debuffs. I think it's 25%. It's 25% passively. And then he's also debuffing on all of his super attacks as well. So it, it's just like, it, it's just going to be a chain reaction of debuffs and stuff like that. How do I want to play this? I really would like to die on this turn. I don't know if we'll be able to. I guess we are going to heal up significant amounts of HP afterwards. Um, all right, whatever. Let's just do this. Maybe Vegito will still be able to do a little bit of damage to us, but we, we just have him so heavily debuffed. Um, the thing is, is that I guess even with this low amount of HP, I don't know if he'll, Vegito will really be able to hit us that hard with all the debuffs we are going to smoke him with right here, right? So let's see how that goes. Yep, so there's an attack debuff. Ah, damn. We got the hidden potential system additional, but it was only a normal, unfortunately. Ugh, dude. Uh, hidden, I would be so down for hidden potential, like, going full hidden potential, if they would actually give us, um, like, guaranteed supers. I would be so much more on board with it. Is he not going to super here? No, there, he, there it is. Does this kill Zamasu? I, I have no clue. I don't think it does because of the attack debuffs. It does. Well, that only plays into our advantage anyway, though. Alright, let's, um... So, Vegito is debuffed into hell. He's supering at the end right there. How do we want to play this? Ah, damn, I almost... I, I, I kind of do regret bringing Chi-Lai at this point, just because, like, she's... Uh, like, she's unneeded, because we could debuff him so much. I don't think that Chi-Lai will sell for us again. We're going to get Golden Frieza. We'd have Piccolo Jr. Yeah, we could do that. Okay, so let's hit this. Uh, Chi-Lai... Uh, I mean, I think she just needs to dodge, like, one of the two. Again, Vegito is so heavily debuffed at this point. Chi-Lai, girl. Oh, my God. Uh, hello? Bro, what is going on with Chi-Lai? This is, like, a week-long thing with Chi-Lai. Chi-Lai is starting to make me ner nervous to bring her. Bruh. Bruh, what is going on with my girl? No, that's my beloved. She's getting smoked. All right, now Piccolo Jr., you got to give us additionals. Okay. He's been failing for me a lot lately as well. I've been having chi -Lai and Piccolo Jr. both turn into professional fraud artists a lot. Um. All right, now I think... I mean, can we lose from this point on? I guess it's probably possible, but, like, we we essentially have him stun-locked with debuffs. We dodged it, okay. I th I'm pretty sure that was double digits anyway. We have him, like, debuff stun-locked. And especially with Omega. Omega is going to make this very easy, man. Wow. I cannot believe 
they create because I dude, I got a lot of comments. People were saying this is the toughest fight in the game. And it's a fight where Omega dominates. I cannot believe they actually did that. <laughs> Alright, so then more debuffs get applied. <laughs> Let's float off Tech Fusion Zamasu. Um, well, I guess one thing we should keep in mind is that Omega, I mean, he does get damage reduction per rainbow orb, so... Maybe I shouldn't put um, him in slot one, but I just, the debuffs are just too much. I, cause I mean, he, so he debuffs on his active, he debuffs on his, uh, whatchamacallit, on his, um, his passive. Like this is just double digits probably, huh? No way this does too much. Let's see. He did 200. Ah, Vegito. Vegito still hits really hard. That's cause Omega, um... My luck tonight has been dreadful, but Omega didn't really give us very many rainbow orbs right there. Remember that without a bunch of other uh, GT bosses, we could bring Baby. Baby would be a fantastic um, character to... Uh, uh, Baby would be a great character for this as well, because he debuffs and then he also dodges and stuff like that. So that's pretty good. Um, all right, so Zamasu's getting a couple of additionals in for us. I I'm impressed with this, actually. The only thing is, it's like, is it, hmm, like, this certainly is a tough fight, but the fact that you could just stun lock him with debuffs, I mean, you still are going to need, like, a, a good opener, right? Because it's like, you could get, like, a bad opening rotation, which, I mean, I guess we did kind of get, but as long as you're bringing a lot of the debuffs, like, this guy just gets really locked down. But, like, the damage he does right away, that's going to be unsustainable for most of the game, right? Like, Vegito double supering with a cooldown of 4, and he does 1.5 million damage. Like, that is going to be ridiculously crazy, right? Um, Alright, so let's go ahead and see what we got right here. Um, So we have a super attack right in the middle. Yeah, okay, so here's the thing about Piccolo Jr. We could put Piccolo Jr in slot one right here and then remember he gets a debuff he will debuff vegeto right there in slot one so let's do that we'll put golden frieza what, what do i want to do with golden frieza if we get his 18 key he raises his defense and then his 12 key debuffs let's 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 get the defensive raise and then we'll also get the debuff as well uh and then we'll hit this but again i mean he's just pretty much so debuffed at this point that like you know, we, we saw even Chi-Lai. Like, it doesn't really... It, it's not really going to be an issue, so... Uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. Um... I am pretty impressed, though, that it's, like, we're 13 minutes in, and Vegito is, like, not even... Like, he, he's still, like, half health. What, what, so he has, what, 100 million HP it was? 97 million with 70% damage reduction. I mean, yeah, he's got more HP than, like, in Omega towards the end, right? Like, they made him very strong. I, I would almost say, though, that this fight is a great example of why attack debuffing is just not, like, really that viable in, like, hard content. Like, when they let you attack debuff, you turn, you know, strongest bosses into kittens. This should still do damage to us, I think, but I don't know that we really have to be concerned. Yeah, 17,000 uh, right there. LR Gold and Frieza still hanging up well as, like, a strong defensive character. So that's pretty good. Uh, Chi Lai is going to give us heal a heal as well because she dodged enough, so now we heal. Perfect. Um, we can transform with Fusion Zamasu. I guess we should, right? There's no reason not to. We, we, we want the damage. Like, at this point, we, we would be better off just ending this fight, right? <laughs> Uh, Alright, 
So, if we get good luck... Do we just want to do this? Nah, th th this probably... This probably would be silly to do. L let's play it safe. Let's play it safe and defensive. Because we're going to have Omega with a bunch more rainbow orbs right there. I, I know... I I'm pretty certain that Tech Fusion Zamasu would be fine right there. But we could just do this. And then this will be a, a slightly uh, safer turn for us. Just in case. I wouldn't want to fumble at this point, right? Yeah, Omega. Pretty clean, though. Omega with the revive, with the debuff, with the active skill. Omega, he's crazy. He's actually... I, I, I remember saying this, like... If you could debuff, he is ludicrous, right? Like, he's ridiculously powerful. It's just, it's very difficult for them to actually create a hard fight where you could debuff. Because, I mean, even chi -Li is tanking normals, right? Uh, by the way, we did revive. So, yeah, Omega, he is super effective in all types. And he does have his guaranteed additional as well. Which means more debuffs in. Uh, so if Fusion Zamasu gives us uh, the Hidden Potential System additional right here, um, he will get a third super. He didn't get it. Okay. We, we would have gotten a third one right there. Uh, all right. Well, next turn, we should be able to wrap this up, huh? So Vegito Blue is certainly a tough fight. This is good, though, because whereas a lot of the other fights in this celebration, I, I would say that they're all structured the same. This one isn't like vegeto blue he hits so hard that it's actually like unsustainable levels of damage right like you're not like like eating these so they gave us a difficult stage where attack debuffing is the strategy remember you could bring tech khalifa with a 100 percent chance to dodge you could bring tech god goku as well although remember tech god goku would take he would live but he would take damage right um although let's be serious i know a lot of you guys a lot of you guys do have your Tech God Gokus um, built full dodge. Of course, right, guys? Of course, of course, of course. So, because uh, I remember um, it was the Metal Cooler Core, right? Like, fighting the Metal Cooler Core an awful lot. Uh, like, you know, I noticed that he, like, he would tank it pretty easily, but he would still take damage um, from those Metal Cooler metal cooler Core super attacks. So I moved him over to full dodge. Because it's like, at this point, if I'm bringing God Goku, it's specifically... Because we're fighting a pure Saiyan or movie boss's enemy. And again, remember that this Vegito Blue is a pure Saiyan character. Uh, most of the fusion characters in the game are not like pure Saiyans like that. Uh, but this guy is because it's just the transform state of the Goku and Vegeta unit, right? So because of that, um, he is actually a, whatchamacallit, um, the thing. He, he is actually a pure Saiyan. Because he's just sort of, again, the, the transform state of them, right? So, yeah. L l let's just go ahead and cook this up. Are we going to have access to his active skill after this? I would love to get the active skill. Because um, I do want to get the, whatchamacallit, like that that uh, OST. I love the OST so much by Majunior. Um, let's see if we're actually going to be able to go ahead and grab that. All right, buddy is super attacking a lot. Remember, Majunior going into his giant transformation means that he is just going to lock this down, right? Like, after we leave the giant transformation, uh, Vegito cannot super attack. This is crazy. This is a 20 minute. This is 20 minutes against one enemy. I probably will do another video specifically for Omega against this fight. Omega is probably the single best character for this fight. Is he? I, 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 probably. It's like, if you get Omega turn one, I, like, you are good. Like, you're probably not going to lose. And then he does have a revive. I mean, we, you know, we utilized his revive in our back pocket. Even with our, well, we did have a terrible opening rotation. But again, it was uh, the, our silly baby girl, chi -Li. I do love that the very first attack, uh, we we could do the infinite Zamasu. Oh, yeah, sure. Let's do that. Get the extra damage against him. Sure, 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 sure. Oh, 
All right, so we're going to get the domain um, activated right here. Again, remember that the domain actually does um, get the extra damage going in at uh, Vegito Blue. So that uh, that should be GG right there. Okay, um, I'm going to want to do this fight a little bit more, and I'm going to want to do the... Um, the red zone fight as well, the, the Zamasu red zone stage. These are definitely very tricky stages. Um, I, I do think that the Zamasu red zone stage is harder than this, though, because they do give you the option to attack debuff. That that really cuts the difficulty of this in half, right? Again, even like um, Final Form Cooler, right? Like LR Cooler with his debuffs. Like, you get a bunch of 12 key super attacks of Final Form Cooler, and he would smoke this stage as well, right? Like, when, once you take away... Like, the killing power of Vegito Blue's super attack, um, you know, and, and, and his normals, th you know, this is going to become just a much easier, I think, than a lot of people think. Um, but a lot of the characters in the game, I mean, they're just going to get washed, right? Like, you, you, can't, you can't be living this type of damage turn one. Again, uh, dodge, kids. Um, might want to invest in some dodge, just saying. All right, so that was pretty, pretty not bad. Thanks to Omega. I, w I would say, again, our, our victory right there feels like it was Carnival Omega right there who carried. So let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Carnival Omega is up.